I was supposed to have done this haul last week, but you guys, I popped into Dollar General. I honestly have no idea the last time that I shopped there. Um, I think I put up a Dollar General haul on my channel a year ago, maybe even more, but really I need to be going to the store a little bit more often because it was really exciting. I was able to see, um, you know, differences between Dollar General and Dollar Tree, which is my favorite store. And I was able to see items that I've seen at Dollar Tree, at Dollar General. Um, and I was also able to determine there were a lot of things at Dollar General that were priced more though than Dollar Tree. So, um, yeah, but at the same time, there were also things obviously that Dollar General has that Dollar Tree doesn't because Dollar General is not a dollar store. Um, they have things of all variety of, of pricing. So, okay, um, let me show you what I found because I'm very excited about all of it. And yeah, okay, so I did have to hit up a lot of their Christmas stuff just because obviously I haven't been shopping in that store this Christmas season and I found some really cute stuff that Dollar Tree doesn't have. And I found this gorgeous gift bag and I absolutely love it. Now, I will tell you guys that I've been buying a lot of holiday gift bags and wrapping paper and all those things at Dollar Tree, but I never once considered doing like a matchy-matchy present wrapping thing until this year. And actually, I don't have my wrapping paper on me, but I ended up buying a couple from Hobby Lobby. And this is one of the ones that I'm going to put together and you can definitely check out my vlogs on Vlogmas and you'll see the wrapping paper that I chose. And so I thought that this would look really pretty with it. So I'm definitely going for like this brown creamy beige thing and then the red. So this is really pretty for that. And I kept in line with that theme when I picked up these cute bags too. And I love the size of them. They're like, they're really square. And I'm trying to remember if I have anything this shape from Dollar Tree, but I love the Buffalo check. It's on the snowman. The handle's really cute. And it was a dollar. So that was really awesome. And this bag, this bag was $2.50. So a Dollar Tree would have been a dollar. Um, so there's that. And then I found this one. Actually, I think I'm gonna get up and show you guys the wrapping paper I got from Hobby Lobby because I want you to see like how it would all look together. All right, so this one is probably my favorite from Hobby Lobby. It's a really pretty print. Again, you can just see that brown paper bag, which I also buy the wrapping paper in Dollar Tree. That's just like the brown that they actually put with the mailer stuff so they can actually just like wrap packages with. Those are really pretty too and have that farmhouse look. And then I got this one also from Hobby Lobby. They were $8.99 but 50% off. So I really like that. And then this one's actually from last year, I think. I don't remember where I got this one, but I thought I might add this into that, into the wrapping. This one I really like too. I don't know, there's something about polka dots that I think is really just charming and pretty and simple and I love just the flat tones of the colors there's no like sparkles I mean I love sparkles don't get me wrong like don't because this one has foil on it I don't know if you can tell but the gold is shiny so I thought I would add all of those and then I also have a plain red which I actually bought last year as well um now I did start wrapping some presents and I wrapped some with this. Actually, you can kind of see it right here. Yeah, and I have a Dollar Tree gift bag right here. So I really loved this green Santa and this Santa too. So these are Dollar Tree. So I did start wrapping before I decided to like kind of switch it up and make it all match together just this year. So anyways, back to the whole thing. You know, can you just kind of see what I'm what I'm going for, just that brown paper sack look, really. And I really like this one because it says, don't shake, peek, sniff, squish, open until Christmas. I love those. Anything that says don't open until, I think is really cute. 
So I love those. And then I found these cute bags. The shape is just, I love the shape. I don't think Dollar Tree has anything that's like rectangular like this. And I'm gonna go ahead and open. These were a dollar. So comparable to Dollar Tree and you get two in here. And these are the options. This one's so pretty and pr country primitive in a way. I don't know if that's right or not, but, and then Santa with the plaid trees. I really love these. This one right here, just absolutely love the Santa. I should have got another one. And I don't know if you guys can tell, but my eyes are like, I'm like glittering over this Dollar General haul because I, I'm suddenly realizing I need this store in my life. And then here's this option with the Buffalo check. And I really got it for this one because Buffalo check isn't a pattern that I'm um, intentionally reaching for. Maybe next year, I don't know, but I really got it for this truck. So, you know, just kind of show you guys. Yeah, telling you also, just in case you didn't know, but Hobby Lobby has wonderful wrapping stuff. Okay, um, are, are there any more bags? I did not sort this haul out in any way, but I also just kind of want this, this video today to be ultra relaxed and sometimes I know I get on here and I lose my mind over Dollar Tree stuff and I know I've been over the top a lot but today let's let's calm down let's take it down a notch I did find this little sack which is really cute I just showed you guys in Dollar my Dollar Tree Fridays haul um, the one before, yesterday and I found the mini ones from Dollar Tree. And then Dollar General has like these big ones. They're $2.50, but you know what? I think that is actually a really great price. I shop so much at Dollar Tree, I, it's like being spoiled for everything being a dollar. Um, so honestly, I think $2.50 is a really good deal here. And then you get the striped bag, which I love this red stripe. And then this bag, you can see like the pull tie detail here. And these are just really great little um, alternatives to putting a gift in, especially stuff that's kind of hard to wrap, like baseball caps or cups or, you know, just like round objects or like toys that have like, you know, um, not a standard square or rectangular shape. Like these are some good options to put those gifts in. And I really love this. Cut and carry is what this says. Really cute. Home for Christmas. Bring home the merry spruce, fir, pine, and cedar. I thought I said cedar, and I was like, okay, that's not right. Cedar. All right. I keep pulling on this just because it's like blocking my necklaces and it keeps riding up, and I think it's because of the hoodie. But all right. What do I show you guys next? I literally don't even know. Let's get into some gift tags because. If you're new to my channel, I'm obsessed with holiday gift tags. And I'm just kind of going through these bags to see if I've got all of them. But I did pick up a couple. And here is this one. I have to say that for 2020, the gift tags from Dollar Tree were, were really good. But I don't think they were the best I think Dollar Tree's ever put out. Um, this one I love because of the gingerbread quality. So like even the little Christmas tree just kind of has that gingerbread look. Plus, I think the spoon and whisk is really special because I don't think you really ever see that in a gift tag. So if you are wanting to do like a theme, um, this one just has a whole gingerbread thing. And this one says, have a sweet holiday. Where is it? Right here. Yeah. I really love this. Made with love, just for you. Baking spirits, bright. That's really adorable. It's $1, by the way. So $1 there. And then here's this one. Very reminiscent of the style at Dollar Tree, but also very different in its own way. I love the plaid. I love the shape of these. And I love all of the little details. It just, they look really good. They don't look overly busy. They look very festive. And I love the foil effect. 
I always love a good foil effect. I just think that it makes everything look more luxurious. Like look at this one. This one is so pretty with the gold foil and it just looks like it was handmade. Okay, so that was a dollar. And then my favorite one of the entire set, you guys. You guys, why did I not get another one? I do this every time I film. But this little cup of, is this supposed to be hot cocoa or something? Cause that's like whipped cream there at the top. We've got Santa's hat that says, have a cozy Christmas. Love that. We've got the mittens that say happy holidays. And then you've got Santa himself where he sees you when you're peeking. That is entirely too clever and one dollar it's everything if you're going to dollar general because of this video comment down below and let me know again like what is going to be on your list but i would put this one because it's beautiful all right then i found some paper plates which the other thing that i feel like dollar tree kind of didn't do a good job with this year was their paper plate selection for the holiday i feel like they put back out what was out last year I don't know, I'm trying to remember. I need to go back and look at my haul videos, but even so, even if it wasn't the same print as last year, I felt like they were just kind of, they were okay. Um, compared to what Dollar Tree has done this year for 2020, I mean, it was just insane, the amount of gorgeous products. Um, so I, I feel like they just kind of fell flat with that, but let me show you, Dollar General didn't. I mean, look at this, you guys, and these, this is an eight count. They are paper plates and $2.75. I think that's a pretty good price for these and it's just really cute. I also picked up E6000 while I was there. This is a product that you just never see at Dollar Tree and I don't know what I paid for this. Um, yeah, I don't have my receipt on me, but I needed this. Um, to have on hand so I picked it up while I was there and another thing that I got um, actually I kind of want to still stick with some holiday stuff so let me show you guys these cute boxes oh, such adorable little boxes um, so they kind of look like once you stack them all up together they have this look to them like they're little books like this like, is that not, I mean, I tried to grab every single one that they had. Look at that. So cute. They were each a dollar. I mean, it's, you know, I mean, it is a pretty small product, but it would be a cute way to gift, like, a gift card that might fit in here. I'm not entirely sure. It does say to and from, so it already has, like, a built-in tag and everything, and you could put maybe some earrings or a nice necklace or something like that. So I'll just kind of show you guys the covers of each of these. And I think that they'll also fit really nicely in a stocking. So there's that option. And by the way, the same print is on the back. Here is this one. I love the candy cane one. Thank you. Oh, girl. And then uh, an elf one. I love that. I love the stripe. And then this one, when I looked at it, I was like, why does this give me Home Alone vibes? Probably just the front door and the steps. Just has that look. So, yeah, so those were a dollar. And then I found these options, which these are so pretty. There was a few other options, but these were the only two that I liked because again, I was trying to just kind of think about my wrapping paper selection. And what's cool about these is the way that they open. I love these. I'm definitely gonna um, use these for stocking stuffers and like put things in. So love this one, it has a buffalo check and then the Christmas Farm Fresh free deliveries. Ta -da. Yeah, love those. Those were also a dollar. And I also found 
10 cans and these are some of my favorite little um, I don't know I don't know how to say it but all the little tank 10 can options from Dollar Tree I was obsessed with here's a Santa version and I really love this Santa I like his glasses and I like how simple it was it's pretty thin I will say compared to the 10 can of my Santa from I'm trying to see if I have him over here from Dollar Tree I mean he's huge he's like pretty thick and pretty tall so this one's just a little bit smaller not that that I mean, si sizing, you know, is all about preference of like what you're going to put in there. I'm just comparing it from a, a dollar perspective because this is a dollar and then the other Santa from Dollar Tree is a dollar. But I really like the Santa, super cute. And then I also found Snowflake. And then this one's really interesting. I haven't seen Dollar Tree do anything round like this to mimic like a wreath shape but really cute and a snowflake you guys but yeah these i love these and here are some larger tin can boxes that are really special that i've never seen at dollar tree and look i i don't know if you can tell but look at that is that not cool it's like see-through and then it is the gingerbread house and then you can see the side completely obsessed with this little box and it was two dollars and fifty cents and i did not honestly i did not mind paying that i really didn't because had it been a dollar i would have my eyes would have just like popped out of my skull and then here is this one the truck is a in buffalo check so cute so is the camper and he's pulling the camper he's got lights he's got the tree the whole fam is set up here. There's even like the snow and just to do like this again because I don't know why, but that's so pretty. With the fire going on in the background. And then I love the green trim and then you've got this to match the truck. So pretty and also $2.50. A Dollar Tree has done this concept before with like the see-through-ish type lid, but I don't think they did that this year. Um, but I feel like they've definitely done that in the past. Okay, then I found this, which if you guys caught my Dollar Tree gift basket video, um, this would have been really awesome as a container to do gifts in. Look how cute it is. The lid even says enjoy on there. Really lovely. I love the cutout here. It just has that charming country look. And it just, for whatever reason, I look at this and I think baby boom when she's packaging the applesauce I don't, I don't know why that is oh the little red bow is kind of coming undone there we go and this was two dollars and fifty cents but it's really pretty it's like a nice thick plastic um but yeah so got that and let's see all right i saved my favorite box for last because oh my gosh it is absolutely everything it has like a little snowy do you see that the snow falls in this oh my gosh i wish dollar tree would do something like this if they watch just know that we need some innovation with some of these boxes um i know that's probably asking for a lot but this one was two dollars like what in the world look at all the snow and it also has a gingerbread thing going on because the house is a gingerbread house the trees are gingerbread trees with icing this is so clever so so clever and i'm obsessed and look at the trim too i just love all of the detail so love that find the next item is an advent calendar and as you can see i got it for three dollars now it is december 12th but you know what it's never too late for an advent calendar because you could do like the 12 days of christmas from december 12th through the 24th so that could work but i did get these to put aside for next year you can see that they give you the stickers and then you just place them on the roof part but yeah and then you can see on the side 
all of the other houses are folded up so you do have to put them together and i just want to show you guys like this one says mercantile which is really really cool so each little house one's a bakery mrs claus's bakery that's so adorable the toy store yeah i just all of these little houses have um a shop and i think that's a really cute concept three dollars is a really great price for that all right so let me show you some more holiday goodies i picked up these christmas ornaments as you can see they're just like the kind that's a little painting project. My niece is going to be coming over to spend the night soon. And at her birthday party, she had a cute little Grinch theme. And her mom bought these like huge like snowmans about this big. And they came like this with like the, the painting thing. And all the kids were painting their snowmen and they just loved it. And so I decided to pick these little minis up for her because she just loves painting. This girl literally throws shade when her parents pick her up if we don't paint the first thing out of my niece's mouth is we didn't paint and i'm like you didn't ask okay but listen listen so this time she can't say she can't say that we're not going to paint because here it is so she just the girl loves painting so i picked those up for her and then I picked up, let me show you guys. This is what I wish we would see at Dollar Tree and they're just little button pins. <gasps> How cute is this? You could do so much with this, whether you need to add these to like a sweater to make your own ugly Christmas sweater thing. You could add these to like your backpack purse or your purse, you know, just little charms and things um, just to be extra festive. I love that they have little Santa hats on the buttons. Like how unique is that? And these are a dollar. So Dollar Tree, come on now, give us, give us some buttons. And then I found this and I thought it would be so cute for my niece. And it is a light up bracelet for a dollar. You can see that it just like snaps like this. I mean, obviously her little wrist is too, too tiny. But the girl is very girly. She loves taking off. If I have bracelets on or if her mom has bracelets on, she'll just take them off, put them back on kind of thing. And I think she would just love this little teddy bear. So yeah, it's lighting up. I don't know if you guys can tell. So those are awesome. Also a dollar. So hello, Dollar Tree. Let's go. And then the last thing from a Christmassy perspective which I'm so shook about. They are these Santa North Pole marshmallow poles. You guys, this would be an amazing addition to your hot cocoa bar if you're doing one. Or, and even if you're not, if you're not putting together a hot cocoa bar, but you're drinking hot cocoa, these are gonna be really cute. And they're individually packaged, which I really love because marshmallows, it's just nice. You can also do a gift basket and take a couple out. Kind of thing you could do like a little hot cocoa basket and these would be amazing i don't know oh a dollar <gasps> dollar tree we need something like this but yeah absolutely epic love that product now it's been a minute hasn't it but let's talk about vanessa again and every time i talk about vanessa I'm always asked, where's her channel? Where's her information? So Vanessa is a lady that I found on Instagram that does cleaning. She has her own professional cleaning services. She lives in Texas, but I think she's somewhere more down south from where I am. I'm not entirely sure. She might be in the Austin area. I really, I really don't know actually, but she gives you tips and tricks for cleaning and they're amazing. And I don't think she has a YouTube channel, um, but I will leave her Instagram account so that you can follow her. She's been showing these like scrub daddies, which I've seen before. Um, yeah, I think I've even bought some before, but of course she's been showing how she uses them in her video. And I'm like, if Vanessa's doing it, then I'm doing it. That's how it works in my life now. I, li I literally clean just like Vanessa now. I will go watch her. She's also on TikTok. 
and but she posts the same things I think on Instagram and she will show like the do's the don'ts and, and all those things anyways she has helped me get rust off of my stainless steel so yeah she's just amazing anyways I picked some of these up because I saw them there and I'm not sure what I paid for these maybe in the two dollar range if I had to guess so and the difference between these two is this one's like a traditional scrub daddy just all the way around this one is a scrub mommy and it has two different surfaces so this is the original scrub daddy surface and then this is like a spongy surface in the back okay now that we've talked about her for five minutes let's move on to the next products and i found this febreze item and it has like a little fan system i think i really don't know how this works to be honest what does this say it's good for 45 days it prevents odors from lingering and it says pet odor eliminator they had other options but this one was a pet and that's why i wanted to get this it is the fresh scent it is an air freshener and it's for small spaces you can see that it says that right here for small spaces yeah i have no idea like where you would you would essentially put this they're showing a dog bed but like i know you don't put this in the dog bed so anyways if you've ever used this comment and let me know where you found like the best place to put them all, all of those things because i'm just i'm new to this product so but i'm very excited to try this out and the last two products are so good i found some harry potter stickers this is something we would never see at dollar tree and if i were to ever see anything harry potter i would just flip out but my daughter loves harry potter she's loved harry potter from the dawn of time and i thought this would be cute to put in her stocking she has like a planner and stuff that she does for like school and all of that and i don't know i thought the stickers were really cute there even seems to be some washi options in here so i got those and then the last thing which i got for myself that i'm putting under the tree and it's another coloring book was three dollars okay but i don't think we would see these at dollar tree so and it is a cute food advanced coloring and you know like the, like cute food that should be i think that's like my slogan my own personal slogan i just love cute food and then you can just see um oh my gosh does that not, not look like fun to color like milk and cookies wow look at this waffles but yeah fruit oranges limes Oh my gosh, looks so, so good, you guys. And also, I like how easy it kind of looks to color. I do have a lot of adult coloring books with like the really small little lines and spaces and things. So it's nice to sometimes just take a break and have bigger things to color. Um, and if you've never tried coloring, you just don't know. You may really like it because I think it has like therapeutic qualities calming qualities peaceful qualities it's just nice to just kind of you know wind down and color a little bit so anyways that's it i feel like this was kind of a long video but i guess i had a lot to say about dollar general very impressed i don't know why i'm not going here more often but thumbs up if i should introduce dollar general halls maybe a couple times a month or or something like that i don't know weekly i i don't know so comment down below let me know what it is that you want because i do dollar tree hauls mondays wednesdays fridays and sundays and then typically thursdays and saturdays are like home decorating stuff so we have a thursday option open but i typically will use that as like a day off from my main channel but still girl let me know what you need in your life and I will try my best to deliver. So, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.